to a good start too and Ewan Gillilad was one of the first to step out with Count Sealer and over on the outside is Commander Blue Prominent as they come along to the first hurdle and they were followed by the Grey Real Bower in behind them uh, dropping back a little bit in the field there is Superior Native being followed at the head of the others then uh, by Fairley's Pride who's on the outside of Trilo and a length and a half to Square Rigger followed by Uncle Andy and Ski Boots has dropped out to last coming up to the second hurdle and the leader Kentucky Wildcat lit about two lengths to Twine Wild Gold a length and a half then to Ewan Gillilad on the inside of Count Sealer two lengths away Fairley's Pride around the outside of the moving forward there Superior Native in the centre and down on the inside Real Bower they're closely attended then by Trilo a length to Kamida Blue over on the inside and he was being followed by Square Rigger Uncle Andy and starting to tack on now as Ski Boots racing up towards the home turn in the first lap coming to the next hurdle and over that one the leader here over near the inside Kentucky Wildcat leading about a half length to Twine Walgold and saving ground the inside Ewan Gallilad one off the fences can seal two lengths to Real Bow a length and a half to Fairley's Pride the insider going around the mat deeper on the track as Square Rigger over on the fence then Superior Nota from Uncle Andy and Trilower Ski Boots the second last and Kamida Blue has dropped out to last and they flattened that second panel at that first jump in the straight and Twine Wild Gold has moved alongside so on the inside there Kentucky Wildcat and they jump it on level terms Twine Wild Gold didn't jump it too well and Kentucky Wildcat on the inside made the better leap going out of the straight and lit a half length to Twine Wild Gold two lengths away as Ewan Gallilad who's travelled well throughout he's on the inside of Count Sealer a couple away as Fairley's Pride being urged along and they're followed by Real Bower and then at the head of the others came Square Rigger Superior Native is in behind them followed by Uncle Andy Trilo second last Ski Boots and last of all Kamida Blue. They run along with about 1,400 metres left to go. And again, Kentucky Wildcat a clear leader by a length to Twine Walgold, a length and a half away Count Sealer. Then Yoon Gallilad, who's saving every inch of ground, and Fairley's Pride is going up three deep around them. They're followed by Real Bow and Square Rigger taking closer order, followed by Superior Native and Uncle Andy. Three lengths away, ridden along now as Trilo. Two lengths to Ski Boots is under pressure. And Kamida Lad's a long way back at the tail of the field. Going around the back, just over a 1,000 to run. And again, Kentucky Wildcat being tackled by Twine Walgold. Two and a half lengths clear of Count Sealer. Fairley's Pride under pressure over on the fence. Ewan Gallilad's had a beautiful run all the way. About two lengths to Real Bow, followed by Square Rigger as they jump the next one. Twine one Gold on the outside has got his head in front here of Kentucky Wildcat. They've drawn away by five lengths to Ewan Gallilad. A length and a half into Count Sealer. Fairley's Pride followed by Uncle Andy. But Twine Walgold has taken the lead coming down the side uh, with 650 metres left to go. He's a half length clear of Kentucky Wildcat. Uh, three lengths away running on well now as Ewan Gallilad. Uh, they're followed by Uncle Andy who's made a long sustained run as they come to what will be the second last jump and Twine Walgold cleared that one. Uh, again Kentucky Wildcat. He won't give in Kentucky Wildcat. He's put his head in front again round the turn uh, and it's Kentucky Wildcat again challenged by Twine Walgold. Uh, they have one hurdle left to jump. They won't have to jump it really because the second panel has flattened uh, and they come round the turn on level terms. Twine one Gold uh, and Kentucky Wildcat here they come, the last hurdle, Twine one Gold, and the other one decided to jump at Kentucky Wildcat. Looks to be going maybe a shade the better Kentucky Wildcat. Twine one Gold is trying hard. They're both very tired. Kentucky Wildcat and Twine one Gold. Twine one Gold going a bit the better. He's just won. Twine one Gold by a long head to Kentucky Wildcat. Ewan Gallilad is third, followed by Uncle Andy and Fairley's Pride. Ski boots behind them, Superior Native and Trilo. And there's one dumpty's rider after passing the post. That's Square Rigger. And then Count Seal, followed by Real Bow, and last of all, Kamida Blue. And the winner of the race, ready for a start. Lion Good. Kaya Jade, the inside runner. Cool Dice stands in well. They're off. And Kaya Jade was the first to jump out from Kaya Feng, who began well with Demi God and Parazada. And Sherlaw Pride is showing speed behind them with Commander Strike and Snow Blossom on the outside and going around them, dream a dream from a wide barrier. Trapped out deep as the favourite Cool Dice and he was being followed by Mystery Wren from Abbott's Charmer. And a bit further back than is Monty Fuerte, followed by Japa Ripper. Toy Image is about fourth last on settling down with Strudley and tailing out to last is Trista Light. Around the back they go, just over a thousand to run. And Dream a Dream has gone to the front by length to Cool Dice second, a length away Commander Stroke. A half length back on the outside of Snow Blossom, followed by Demi God, a length and a half then. Uh, at the head of the others to Kaya Feng on the inside of Parazada. In that group going around them on the outside there, at the head of the rest of them was Misty Wren, and they were being followed by Jappa Ripper. A gap then to Kaya Jade, followed by Abbott's Charm, Sherlaw Pride. Monty Fuerte is a long way back at that point with Strudley, followed next to last by Trista Leiter. And Toy Image, you must have got a check there, has dropped back to be a long last. Coming down the side past the 600, Dream a Dream being tackled quickly by Cool Dice, who's running on pretty well. 
Commander Strikers just in behind them, and they're followed by Misty Wren over on the outside, coming around them quickly. And at the head of the others, then over on the fence is Demi Goddess. They come up towards the home turn. Dream a dream, a half length to Cool Dice. Commander Striker joining in on the outside is Misty Wren as they straighten up, and very deep is Jappa Ripper. Dream a dream being tackled by Cool Dice is now under pressure. And here's Commander Strike down the outside, but this one won't give in. It's still fighting on. Dream a dream is the leader. Commander Strike's trying to get to it. Cool Dice the centre. Anybody's race close to home, and Commander strike maybe on the outside has grabbed it dream a dream to win with cool dice third in the three-way photo misty wren behind them followed by kaya jade snow blossom demigod abbott's charm strudely followed by jeppa ripper then kaya feng and sherlock pride parazada followed by monty fuerte and uh, well back in the field towards the tail tristolite with toy image could go here come on racing and our goal was the first to begin at the inside from Southeastern Star and the Century Point and Roulette Player commenced nicely and also away quickly Mighty Fiesta. Scarlet Ribbons is just in behind them followed by Private Island, Westbury Boy and a bit further back to Prince Abel. Frenan over on the inside, third last on settling followed by True Rafaela and disclosed as last of all in a compact field. They head down the side now and our goal is being tackled for the lead by Roulette Player. Close in behind the Mighty Fiesta followed by Private Isle, Southeastern Star at the head of the others. Over on the inside just in behind them then came a moving forward Century Point and deeper on the track Westbury Boy. They're followed by Prince Abel and Frenown is in behind them about third last as they come down the side with Scarlet Ribbons and disclosed as last of all. A roulette player had moved up on the outside to take the lead up towards the home turn about to be tackled by Mighty Fiesta. Deeper on the track True Rafaela running home pretty well and they're followed by Cool Tripper who's making ground quickly as they make the home turn. Mighty Fiesta just just the leader getting a run on the inside century point has moved up very quickly but mighty fiesta's in front with about a 200 meters left to go is clear now of in second place century point for now finishing well along the inside and down the outside prince able mighty fiesta was the leader in southeastern star mighty fiesta just in front and mighty fiesta will get the money mighty fiesta's won at second home century point third southeastern star prince able in behind them was for now and they were followed by westbury boy and then private isle followed by our goal disclosed and cool tripper and a long way back in the field, Scarlet Ribbons, followed by Roulette Player. And last of all is True Rafaela. Hey, three, four. And they're about to break in the first of the day. Light flashing on top, and they look good. Off and running. And Tune Natune on the outside jumped away very quickly. Slow to move at the start. Lady Anarchy went straight back to the tail. Going fast is Miss Goodwood Park and W Bet and Sanctum is prominent and Hidings is pushing through into a good spot. And there's a line of five leaders now, but Sanctum working hard from an outside gate is going to come over and lead from Hidings. Tune Natune moving to second now. W Bet on the inside of Miss Goodwood Park, followed by Equities, Golden Waratah, Classic Vision. Lady Anarchy making ground quickly between horses after. After that slow start, Princess Rosie trapped deep and hard ridden. A gap then to Limelighter, followed by Jump. A good way back, Cordial Stay with Gull Charm and Tickles as last as they come up the hill towards the corner. Sanctum on the outside and Hidings have quickly raced clear of W Bet, followed by Equities. And then Miss Goodwood Park and further back, Classic Vision under pressure. At the head of the others as they swing into the straight, Golden Waratah. And Tune Natune has dropped right out of the race. But in the straight and Sanctum is the leader with the head right up in the air. Classic Vision is coming after it quickly and then equities and W bet classic vision shot to the front a hundred out and is starting to draw clear of sanctum as they get near home and classic vision has come from a fair way back to win now second is um Sanctum and third wide out W bet followed closely then by Equities and Miss Goodwood Park. Tickles made up good ground. At the head of the others came Golden Waratah followed by Gold Charm, Cordial Stay, Limelighter and then Jump and Hidings, Tune Natune followed by Lady Anarchy and Princess Rosie weakened out of it to run last. Number two, Classic Vision. Here's Ron Paps. A bit slow to begin Forsaken Victory, out well Northern Desire, and with it two on settling down to Shadwell Lass. Going fast in the early part two, as they sort themselves out as now and then, and driving through Catnook, followed by Vitez. Then in behind them, getting back in the field now, Northern Desire after jumping well. Glatonic's Lass was next, Forsaken Victory. Then Super's Girl, and there's another one trapped very deep around them, Balmoral's Gambler. Shadwell Lass jumped well, but it's got back into the field with Volcanic Rain, then Blazero. Further back was Roses for Simone, Volcanic Rain dropped back 
back sharply to second last, and last was Gold Illusion. They strung it over a lot of ground, and Catnook led a length and a half. Going to second now, Bold West, and from Vitez coming after them, so is Northern Desire. Then now and then, Balmoral's Gambler continues to run on, and further back behind them, Super's Girl. Into the straight they race, and now Bold West and took the lead. Vitez comes at it. Northern Desire down the centre of the track, and getting right up on the inside now, and then here they go across the track. They're all over the shop. It's Vitez reaching the lead. Northern Desire's trying to peg it back. Northern Desire comes at Vitez. Vitez, Northern Desire. Ooh, it's nearly a dead heat. Vitez or Northern Desire, I don't know. Third placing went to now and then. They were followed by Shadwell Lass and then Super's Girl. Then came Roses for Simone Balmurrell's gift. Then Gold Illusion. Bold Western hit a brick wall. Then came Balzero, which never got into the race, or Blazero. Further back, Forsaken Victory. Volcanic Rain. Cacknook stopped badly and Glutonics Lass. Not sure about this. We'll come back and have a look at that in a moment. It's a They're ready to bring from the stalls, racing. Atro out wide began brilliantly. Orthia slow to get going, dropping back shortly after the start. And Mondo Vogue hit the ground running, and there's another one. No boundary flying through in the middle. Dare to be free is going to settle about fourth. Then Swift Apache, Glamorous Lass. Headline news in Glen K, followed by Stark Crusader. Getting back in the field then is uh, Bellevue Dancer, who's back about third last with Darsan. Orthia and Seattle Flame last of all. Coming down the side, Mondo Vogue has crossed over in front of them, and she's raced away at the 600 to lead by three lengths. At Atro is running second. Over on the inside is No Boundary, then Swift Apache and Headline News starting to pick up a bit of ground, but deep. Dare to be free is next in the middle, and they're clear of Glen Kay on the home turn. 400 metres to go. Mondo Vogue is the leader. She's nicely clear as they head for home. It's Mondo Vogue slapped up a little bit, about three lengths in front of Atro. Then No Boundary, Swift Apache, Glen Kay, Glamorous Lass, Dare to be free, and Darsand making ground on the outside. Mondo Vogue in front. She's starting to feel the pinch a little bit now. She's coming back to them. Darsand is finishing brilliantly on the outside. Darsand going after Mondo Vogue, Darsan grabbed Mondo Vogue and Darsan has been able to beat Mondo Vogue. Third in no boundary then Atro, Bellevue Dancer made up plenty of Grand Star Crusader next, then Glen Kay, followed home by Swift Apache, Glamorous Lass, then Seattle Flame in the last few over the line, headline news, Dare to be free and Orthia. Darsan. All we've got to do is press the button and then we're off and running. Pompous Legend is the inside runner and his choice standing up well. Xandria makes a good line waiting for the light to go on. Soon have them on their way. Carmisi standing up well down towards the inside. Light goes on. Racing now. And over on the inside, Pompous Legend was one of the first to get out. Andy's reward commenced very fast, and so did Princess Morella Black Rouge. And over on the outside, settling just in behind them, Solomon's Choice, followed by Phaeton. A length and a half further back is Carmesi, and they were closely attended by Randall. In behind them came our music, and then a gap in the field to Defoe, and a long way back as distractions as they run down the side in a well-strung outfield, followed by Zandria. And uh, last of all, coming down towards the 600-metre mark is Campbell Ladd. They're stretched out at about 20 uh, lengths coming down the side of the 600 metre mark and Andy's reward being tackled for the lead by Black Rouge. They're out two and a half lengths in advance of Princess Morella followed by Solomon's Choice a length and a half to Fate Honor. Pompous Legend a good long gap to Carmesi and well back at the head of the others came to foe as they race up towards the home turner. Coming up to the 400 Andy's reward tackled by Black Rouge is getting a run on the inside. They're out about two and a half lengths to Princess Morella followed by Solomon's Choice as they're about to straighten up. Well back then Pompous Legend followed by Fate Honor. Andy's reward on the outside being tackled by Black Rouge is running on well and and they're clear. Here comes Solomon's Choice with a good run. Ducked in under pressure. Solomon's Choice. Andy's reward is tackling this one on the inside. Black Rouge. Black Rouge giving plenty on the inside. Just the leader. Black Rouge will win it. Black Rouge by a long neck to Andy's reward. And a third home probably near the inside. Princess Morella ahead of Carmisi who flashed home. In behind them. Solomon's Choice who ruined his chance by ducking in badly in the straighter. And then came at the head of the others pompous uh, legend and he was followed next time in the event by Defoe from Randall and then our music and well back distractions followed by Zandria and Campbell had behind them followed by Accurate Lass one of the last to finish with fate on. Okay well finally the race is over and that was the... Ryder straightens him up again. Off and running Good start with the exception of Top Chip and Colonial both a bit tardy to begin and always heads on the extreme outside flew the coop at the start and bounded right out in front of subordinate Trad began well. Thanks for lunch is pushing through into a handy spot followed by Big Speck and then Wright. Top Chip making ground along the fence after a slow start and then Filial followed by Morning's Best and Star of Note getting back a bit. Domino Games in front of a couple and they are Rast Star and Colonial. Past the 800 mark always heads the leader by a length and a half to Trad on the outside of 
of thanks for lunch. A length away, subordinate, a length to Big Speck, and then right followed by Top Chip and Filial. Morning's best is three deep. Domino game four and five wide as they come up the hill. A good way back star of note followed by Rastar and Colonial as last as they near the turn. Always heads the leader by more than a length to Trad on the outside of thanks for lunch. Subordinate makes the turn three and four deep. A gap then to Big Speck followed by right and then Morning's best and star of note as they turn the corner. Thanks for lunch has got up on the inside as Always Heads runs off the track. Subordinate joining in. Trad didn't give much when Pop the question. And Subordinate race clear now with 100 to go. His star of note down the outside flashing home. He's got him covered. Star of note sweeps to the lead close to home and draws away to beat Subordinate. Third is Thanks for lunch. Fourth is Trad. Then Morning's best and Colonial was a tidy effort followed by Big Speck. At the head of the others Always Heads who hung down the running. And then Wright and Rastar followed by Filial and Domino Game who covered a tonne of extra ground and tailed off top chip. Proxy straight back, John. Number two, star of note. Number two, little welcome, a dollar fifty. They start with their backs to us, near the 1800 here, the 1950 in fact, and they run away from us out of the straight. They're away. Dingu Dad came out awkwardly, so did Butts Dilemma. Out wide on the track, Golden River Lady Ross Gray away pretty well, and so was a Republic. Near the inside, Spring Look away quickly, and so too was Northern Knights. And there's a cloth cap biting the dust as the wind takes a, its charge there as they go to the 1650. We're on the inside now. Northern Knights and Spring Look are joint leaders. Going after them quickly is Little Welkin. They were followed just in off the pace by Dull Sind, and Golden River got across. It's gone up to join them. Now Spring Look's back to and then I'm coming, followed by Republic. A length and a half to two away, then Dingy Udard inside swiftly, Tam. Three deep around those Lady Ross Gray. Further back in the field, Melanti Ladders third last. Second last, Butts Dilemma, and a length away to Manuka Cloud. They've sorted out, and racing past the 1200, the leader is Golden River. Golden River, she's got across to lead by a couple. Nearly two and a half, in fact, little Welkin. Lady Ross Gray is taking off from the rear of the field and going around them three wide. Spring look the middle, he's the one that lost the cap. I'm coming around it and down on the inside giving ground sharply Northern Knights. Dulcind went up ahead of it, so did Melanti Lad starting to pick up the bit. Further back swiftly, Tam, Northern Knights is dropping right out. Republic goes past it, so does Butts Dilemma. Then Dingy Udard and about three away Manuka Cloud. Golden River led a length now to Lady Rossgrade of the 600. Third little Welkin, fourth I'm coming, but Melanti Lad has cartwheeled up to them out deep on the track to join in. Then Dulcind under pressure from Spring Look as Melanti Lad reaches the lead. Then further back swiftly, Tam Republic and they were followed by Butts the uh, Dilemma and the others are a long way back. Melanti Lad with the rider riding vigorously drew a half length in front. Golden River has the inside advantage. They straighten up clear of uh, further back Little Welcome but Melanti Lad shot away. Two and a half Little Welcome started to come after it now. Then Golden River paddling and further back Dulcin but Melanti Lad is going to be much too good. They bet pretty good odds about him too. Didn't think there was much wrong with his form. He'll go to the line. Two lengths in front of Little Welkin. About four or five away third, Dulcinda. Then Republic, followed by Butts Dilemma. Further back to I'm Coming, Lady Ross Gray, Spring Look. Then Golden River. Then Swiftly Tam, followed by Manuka. OK, we'll leave it there. Nine, two and one. Divvies at Canterbury. Racing brilliant Bister began smartly. Routine flash just hesitated a, a shade, but he's picked himself up very smartly. He's up contesting the lead. Brilliant Bister's in front, so they don't go with the course proper. A neck in front of Routine Flash. Foreign Debt, my minister, third and fourth. My minister's caught a little bit wide. Insular is fifth on the rails inside of Melchbourne. Getting back Regent Square Air in company there with Derek's pick. Back second last is Kiss Me Kelly, an Irish leader, whipped them in into the first bend, 750 metres to go. Brilliant Bistas, the leader, a half in front of Routine Flash and a half away third, My Minister, still racing wide. Insulair, Foreign Debt next and then Melchbourne a bit deep but going forward. Then Regent Warrior, Irish leader started to close on the, now he's about four lengths off the lead and then Kiss Me Kelly who's down at the rear with Derek's pick. Onto the home turn, 400 metres out, three of them stretched across the track. Brilliant Bist to the inside leads narrowly on routine flash, and the pair of them are tackled now by My Minister, who goes to the lead. My Minister, a neck in front of Brilliant Bist and routine flash as they straighten up. Insulaire's a length away, fourth, then foreign debt, and Kiss Me Kelly, Irish leader down the outside. My Minister's just in front with 100 metres to go. Brilliant Bist is fighting on, Irish leader's flying on the outside. My Minister in front, Irish leader's coming at him. Kiss Me Kelly flying home as well. They hit it. Oh, this is very close. Tight this one between Irish leader and Kiss Me Kelly. The pair of them have hit the line locked together. And look, there's nothing in it. My Minister third, then Brilliant Bister, followed by Routine Flash into there. Regent's Warrior next, then Melchbourne. Well back in the field was Derek's pick and the last one home foreign debt. Well, these two are... And
black squares. You'll see him jump out. Two to one favourite, Southern Spy. Nice look at by Prince Spy. Lights on. Set for action. Ready. They're off and running, and Craven Corp is the first to jump towards the inside with Beat the Breeze beginning well, and Muruara was out quickly, and getting away fast also, Akush Lamari showing speed, and up on the outside, Pace Princess is going very fast, and so is Quiet Rain. 1,000 metres left to go, Pace Princess on the outside, and Quiet Rain go to the front by length and a half, Muruara. Beat the Breeze is just in behind them, followed by Mboka Shamua. At the head of the others then, back along the outside, making up ground as Town Hall Clock, and they were followed by Flirt About Town, who got a check there. Centonic is well back in the field, and they were followed after a gap by Quick As and a long gap in the field then to uh, Raffanella and towards the tail of the field is favoured Pearl. Coming down the side of Kushlamari out wider has gone up to tackle Pace Princess. They're a length to Quiet Rain and beat the breeze Miraroa. Southern Spy coming into the picture on the outside is next. A bit further back to Craven Quarter and then Centonic at the head of the others and well back in the field to Quick As and Flirt about. Well, we'll have to leave Mornington there. Have they jumped at Canterbury or not? Yes, they're racing at Canterbury. Just out, Leave Pompey Air began well, followed by Honourable, pushing up along the inside, Real Genius to almost join those leaders, and Tarbuck Bay is prominent also. Whipping around the outside soon after is Crystal Knight, and close handy then is Zippity Home, followed by Gull Version. Back between horses then is Let's Get Tough, followed by Honourable. A long gap to Navenby, who's flat out to keep in touch early, and coerce as last as they start the run up the hill. 700 metres out, and Knight's Castle race clear by more than a length to Pompey Air, joined on the outside by Tarbuck Bay who's now cruising into second place running fourth at Ted Ron and then Zippity Home who makes the bend three and four deep a gap in the field a crystal night followed by Gull Version and then Let's Get Tough and further back Navenby who's under the whip as they turn the corner into the straight now Knight's Castle is the leader from Tarbuck Bay on the outside followed by Pompey Air a Ted Ron on the outside is running on pretty well as they come to the 200 and uh, it's Tarbuck Bay now coming at uh, Knight's Castle with a Ted Ron grabbing them quickly a Ted Ron's got him covered, hits the lead close to home and a Ted Ron is racing away to score a very good first up win. Knights Castle second Gull Version third, fourth Pompey Air, Tarbuck Bay didn't come on in the straight followed by Navenby, at the head of the others Let's Get Tough and well back Zippity Home and Coerce, followed by Honourable and tailed off his real genius Well if you've got any complaints across Australia please direct them to uh, Mornington would you? I mean that's they had a brief start there for 150 and they they, were, they virtually jumped as they were just about set to jump at Canterbury, but uh, Canterbury uh, didn't hold, they decided to go. But and they, were, they were 10 minutes late there at Mornington, uh, really. Anyhow, so it's, let me just to reaffirm, John, it's due to circumstances, isn't it, beyond our control? Beyond my control too, Graham, I can assure you. And uh, here at Mornington for the fifth event, we've got three into photo. Number three, Akush Lamari W. Davis has led from Gataway. She's drifting out wide on the track, as you can see there. And uh, she packs too many guns for the others. Muraroa in the centre. Pace Princess is weakening down on the inside. Craven Court has run home pretty well. And it is a three and a photo. And the winner number three, about 12.80 and 3.90, Akush Lamari. And the photo for second and third is between Muraroa and Craven Court. Number one, Muraroa at $1.80. And number five, Craven Court at $4.40. And 40 cents. Wide apart here. Pretty good go for the minor placings. Three and a photo in the fifth at Mornington. Uh, we haven't it's time been... now in Brisbane. Um, it's a proficiency number four, seven to two. Number better bother anymore, and she's one of the leaders sorting out of the stores. Sellersine jumped all right, but is now easing back, having a bump with Lord Wynyard. Twigs best gets behind them, and the hurdler, Mr. Millionaire, dropped out of the tail. On settling down, Lord Wynyard, Lady Bastille, and Vito Halo looking for the lead director. Sent Prince's play, and Hillbilly are wider, and so is Ros Vazor. Lord of Labour's got a lovely run up behind them on the rail, and Miss Doolittle goes right through on the inside to take up the running. So the leader is Miss Doolittle as they clear the first turn at the 1600 and is now joined by direct descent. Vito Halo runs to third and then Lord Wynyard followed by Lord of Labour restraining as the pace slackens. Outside of it with Selassine behind those then was uh, Lady Bastille. Then Princes play Ros Vazor, then Hillbilly Twigs Best and about five to the jump of Mr Millionaire. Into the far straight they race kicking inside the 1200 and the leader direct descent shows the way. About a length in front of Vito Halo and then Miss Doolittle, Lord Wynyard then Lady Bastille, 
Rosvazor three deep around them. Over on the inside, Lord of Labour from Seller Sign Prince's play, a length and a half then to Twig's best. A half back the outside came Hillbilly and about three away last of all is Mr Millionaire. Along the far straight at the 800 metre mark and the leader still direct descent. By a half veto halo, third Lord Wynyard, fourth Miss Doolittle, then Lord of Labour off the track Lady Bastille from Rosvazor followed then by uh, looking for a run between them sell a sign next twigs best and then came over on the outside of it is Prince's play then hillbilly and forget the jumper Mr Millionaire on the side they race veto halo direct descent fighting it out Lord of Labour comes after them it's the danger then Lord Wynyard followed further back by Miss Doolittle and they were followed by sell a sign Ros Vizor, and then twigs best but veto halo two in front Lord of Labour the only danger three away then came direct descent Lord of Labour out after Vito Halo. Vito Halo's going all right, though. Lord of Labour is coming after it now. It's Vito Halo, a half in front. Lord of Labour's trying desperately. Vito Halo still in front. Got the money. Vito Halo won a neck on the line to Lord of Labour. Third, I think, Hillbilly, just in front of Ros Vizor, but don't hold me to that. They're a long way back from the other two. Then Lord Wynyard, Prince's play. Miss Doolittle, Seller signed Twig's best, Mr Millionaire, and the last one in direct descent. Lady Bastille pulled up very quickly over the line, beat a couple home. Okay, Halo stands up well. She looked very well on her way to the barrier. She should be very hard to beat. Starter on the platform. He hasn't switched on the night as yet. Kid Zephyr stands up well and close. Just waiting on the night to flash on top of the gates. He's just about ready for them. There it is. Light on. Set. Racing now. Top Halo won the start, bounced in front, Noosa Parade proficiency going quickly in the early part. Waverly Bell driving up in a second berth close to the inside, Kid Zephyr is handy with Piper's Bell. Now starting to drift back in the field is Century Zace with Lajinski. Getting back out on the town, Raymond Justice and Fiery Bay immediately drops out last. Settling down, heading down the side, Top Halo. She's obliged to race one away from the rails as Waverly Bell boots up on the inside of her. Top Halo are half in front of Waverly Bell. Piper's girl is a length away third, but she's travelling deep as well. Then Century's Ace, followed by Noosa Parade, and then Proficiency in the middle. Kid Zephyr next on the inside, then out on the town, Lajinski, Roman Justice, and Fiery Bay is last of all. As they come towards the home turn, now 350 metres out, Top Halo sprinted away from them, got away to lead by a length or so on Waverly Bell. Piper's girl running third, then Proficiency, Noosa Parade down the outside, but Top Halo, she's nicely clear with 150 metres to go. She's got a handy break on them. She's about a length and a half in front. Noosa Parade trying hard on the outside. Noosa Parade coming after Top Halo. Top Halo just in front and she's lasted to win Top Halo. Top Halo first, Noosa Parade second. Tied for third, Lajinski or Piper's Girl. Followed in by out on the town. Next time, Proficiency, Waverly Bell, Centuries Ace. Then Raymond Justice, Kid Zephyr and Fiery Bay, the last one home. The winner of the race again. Well, they're racing this time. And Warfeathers then the inside was one of the first to jump out from Imperial Bounty and Trust Revenge got out very quickly and so also did Classy Rogue showing speed to head them off. On settling down and Classy Rogue goes to the front by length to Plush Revenge out for the count moving up on the outside is next being followed by Imperial Bounty. Over on the outside of Storm Tempo, a length and a half further back is Crossway Lass, followed by Aaron Dewar. At the head of the others then Zealous Prince, and they're followed closely by Fast as Reality. Freeze points a long way back, and at the head of the rest of them then Ada High Diamond as they travel down the side of the track. A good go for the lead here. Classy Rug is the leader by length, out for the count second, a length and a half to Plush Revenge. Moving up on the outside, Storm Tempo, Imperial Bounty, getting a nice run on the inside, followed by Aaron Dew and Freeze Point. Crossway Lass is making ground. Zealous Prince well back, followed by Ada High Diamond, and well back behind them Fast as Reality and War Feathers are an Our Bay Phantom. They're making the home turn. Classy Rogue being tackled by Out for the Count is running on well as they straighten up. They're out by a length and a half. Imperial Bounty and down the outside. Freeze Point is coming home strongly. But Out for the Count goes to the front. Halfway down the running is clear now of Classy Rogue and Freeze Point is down the outside. Out for the Count is the leader close to home. It's nicely clear of Freeze Point and Out for the Count will be too good. Out for the Count won it nicely by a length and a half to Freeze Point. Crossway Lass has run third. Just ahead of Storm Tempo Courier. Then fast as reality, followed by our Bay Phantom. And uh, back behind them in the field then came, at the head of the rest of them, Classy Rogue, followed by War Feathers, Imperial Bounty. Then Plush Revenge, Ota High Diamond, Zealous Prince, followed by Fletz Panaster, and last of all is Aaron Dew. And that's a Vobus winner too. One of the long list of Vobus winners out for the count. Very well tried, as you saw there. Coming in to pay about $3.30 for the win and $1.50 for the place. A notable complete the line and they're all set, boxed and ready to go, race four. They look good. Shalimar Maid has drawn down close to the inside with Ben Ease. 
Pippi Bijou stands well. Line looks good. Off and running, and rough shot and velocity bell began well, and so did Palace Page on the extreme outside, followed by Shamir. Best paint is quickly into stride and look lively prominent, followed by Shalimar Maid and Bo Donna. But this Warwick Farm filly, Palace Page, has got a ton of toe, and she's going to charge over from the outside gate and leads them on her ear. In front by about three lengths on Shalimar Maid when they get going, followed by Shamir. And then best paint, Bo Donna, look lively, followed by rough shot, Princess Ballina. Glowing Princess getting back a bit with. Pippi Bijou and a gap in the field of Velocity Bell followed by Magic Shine and tailed off Benise. Coming up the hill to the 600 mark and Palace Page the leader. A length on Shamir moving closer. Third Shalimar made followed closely by Best Paint who's now going up towards the lead and then Look Lively and Roughshod followed by Bo Donna. Princess Ballina behind a wall of horses coming to the turn followed by Pippi Bijou and then Glowing Princess and Velocity Bell. Into the straight